Okay, thank you. Thank you, Francis, for all your help. You're welcome. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the memorial service. Um, next, next, Francis. Sure. In times of darkness, love sees. In times of silence, love hears. In times of doubt, love hopes. In times of sorrow, love heals. In all times, love remembers. We're here to remember our FCE members who have passed away. Um, I'd like to remember, first of all, people from last year who, since we didn't have a memorial service last year, we're going to recognize those people today. Next. Okay, these are from the 2020. Next. Simplicio Sam Baldado from the Nui Oli FCE Club, Hilo Council. Sam was a 34 year member of New Oli FCE Club, along with his wife, Edna. We could always count on Sam to help set up for the annual FCE fair, rummage sale, and any workshop that was being held. And he was a frequent attendee of many FCE functions. He and Edna were also frequent attendees of HAFCE conventions and NAFCE conventions. He loved the after-conference travel tours arranged by Masai Saito and was always game for trying out and seeing new things. He was a veteran of the U.S. Army and served in the Korean conflict. After retiring as a power plant supervisor for Helco, he began growing taro as a hobby. He was also dedicated to his church and the Christian faith. His vivacious smile was his hallmark. He was 90 years old when he died on February 10th, 2020. Next, Gladys Cookie Brown from the Molokai Council. Cookie was born in Lahaina, Maui on June 4th, 1929. She graduated from Lahaina Luna High School and spent a year teaching in Missoula, Montana. She also taught in Waimanalo, Oahu. Cookie moved to Molokai and taught at different schools. Her final position was as a remedial reading teacher at the high school. In retirement, Cookie belonged to many different organizations and always kept busy. She left Molokai on June 20th, 2020 and moved to Fairmont, Minnesota to be with her son, Kermit, and his family. On September 12th, she passed away after spending time in the hospital. She was a 63-year member of FCE. She served as Molokai Council President, rarely missed a convention, and attended plenty of NAFCE conferences. She shared her wisdom and warm smile with everyone and entertained us with her sassy, cockeyed mayor of Kauna Kakai. Next, Evelyn Cabral Uyo Kobolau from the Windward Wang Council. It was our privilege to have known this 96 year old lady. Evelyn was born in Papaaloa, Hawaii. For 46 years, she was involved in all facets of SCE, being club president, council secretary, council treasurer, and all that was requested of her. Her professional life of being a nurse supervisor in a busy local hospital prepared her for multiple responsibilities, not only in her private life, but also in many organizations where she was an officer. No task was too difficult or too big. We benefited from her boundless generosity of spirit and capacity to share her multiple lit talents willingly. She volunteered a home where we conducted our monthly club meetings for several years. 
She was a talented crafter and worked with beads and other craft items. She has left a void in our organization. Evelyn passed away on January 7, 2020. She has been sorely missed. May you rest in peace. Next, Gladys Shizui Horner. Gladys passed away on August 6, 2020, at the age of 91, at Wilcox Hospital. She was born on December 24, 1928, in Honolulu. Gladys served as Kauai Council President in 1994 to 95 and she was a member of club Pui anui nui for 45 plus years she loved to garden and to do skits at fce conventions she was a live wire and lived her life to the fullest gladys had suffered a massive stroke and her children rallied to her side and visited her in long-term care they fed her and kept her company for over 10 years, taking care of her in shifts up until the very end. We would see Gladys in the dining area of the Wilcox Hospital cafeteria for meals with one of her children by her side. Gladys was a vibrant part of our lives and her contributions will never be forgotten. Next. K Uno Kaneko. K of Oluwaloa Big Island died at age 87 on October 8, 2019, at Hospice of Kona's Nakamaru Hale. She was born in Los Angeles, California on October 7, 1932. K was a retired home care registered nurse and a member of the Kona FCE, as well as numerous other community associations. She served as HAFCE State President from 1997 to 1998. She enjoyed people and was generous with her time, energy, and resources to make life better for others, a true FCE-er. She loved weaving, flower arrangement, macrame, and cooking especially Japanese dishes and anything she could make with her hands. She spoke of her life in the internment camps during World War II. She and her family stayed in Granda concentration camp in Colorado and in the Crystal City internment camp in Texas. Kay will always be remembered for her warm smile and love of FCE. Next, Sumeo Su Nakamura. Su's temperament, attitude, thoughts, beliefs, behavior, and character were all FCE encompassing. She was a proud member of Kilo FCE for 69 years and was honored with the HAFCE Heart of FCE in 2200. I'm sorry, 2000. But for many of us, Sue was the heart of FCE every year. She served in various FCE offices over the years, including on the HAFCE Executive Committee from 1983 to 1984. She and her husband, Shorty, attended many NAFCE conferences where she donated tea leaf lay and helped arrange the copious floral donations from Hawaii. In addition to belonging to FCE, Sue was a retired State Department of Human Services Family and Children Aid, member and senior advisor of Pi'ihonua Kumi'ai and Hawaii Government Employees Association Retirees Unit, and a board member of the Hawaii Shima Fukuoka Kenjinkai. She was an active volunteer with a retired and senior volunteer program and received the 2006 County of Hawaii Outstanding Older American Award. Sue's hands were on autopilot. 
She made yarn or TV glaze and was the first to always volunteer her services. At council meetings, she willingly brought her delicious pickles, seasoned rice, dried mihi moi star fruits, or her signature banana bread. She didn't care if it was her turn or not to donate. Sue came prepared with her Ziploc bags to give out to anyone who wanted to take home some of her delicious goodies. Sue was a giver and always gave with a cheerful heart. She was very passionate about FCL training and encouraged others to attend. Although we miss Sue, we will always remember her with joy because of light she brought to FCE. Sue Nakamura is a legend now and we were blessed to know this humble and nominal woman. She died at age 93 on July 1st, 2020. Next, Natalie Odali. Natalie was born in the Bronx, New York on July 25th, 1921. She met her first husband, Iwao Oda, who served in the 100th Infantry Battalion while he was recuperating from a wound. She moved to Hawaii in 1945 to marry him. Iwao passed away, and when Natalie was 78 years old, she married her second husband, Richard Lee. Natalie was very active and energetic, even driving into her 90s. She belonged to many organizations. Natalie was a board member of the Kailua Boys and Girls Club and a leader of the fundraising Crafty Ladies at her church. She was part of a coalition of churches that organized to open what is now the Windward Senior Care Center. She was a governor's appointee to the Windward Health Planning Council, one of the first women to join the Kailua Rotary Club and lobbied and wrote grants to fund senior care and other philanthropic organizations. In 28, 29, I'm sorry, 2016, she was recognized as a living treasure. And in 2020, she received a certificate of recognition from the city and county of Honolulu for her service to the Kailua community. Natalie was a member of Huyomakani for 22 years and served as club vice president. She was very talented and sure to craft ideas with the members. Because of problems walking, she moved into Pohainani Retirement Community in February 2020. She celebrated her 99th birthday when a caravan of well-wishers from her church, Kailua United Methodist, paraded in front of Pohainani. On August 12, 2020, Natalie passed away. Natalie's life is an example of a well-lived life filled with kindness, humor, grace, and community service. We will truly miss Natalie. Next, Carolyn O'Keefe. In 1978, Carolyn formed a club named Hanaliki Kako. She and her fellow club members chose the name as it meant we are equal in Hawaiian, and Carolyn felt it was appropriate to foster a feeling of sharing and togetherness. From the onset, Carolyn was, a very, was very active with club activities and enjoyed getting involved in Hilo Council activities as well. She was an excellent seamstress and loved sewing unique mu'umu'us for herself. She collaborated with professors from the UH Manoa Clothing and Textile Department to present a fashion show of vintage mu'umu'us called Hawaiian Fashions, then and now, at the Nani Loa Surf Crown Run in honor of National Extension Homers Week. Carolyn and Orlean Wingate presented another fashion show in 1999 called Mu'umu'u Fashion Show at the Kona Surf Resort to benefit FCE leadership. Finally, in 2015, at the 65th Annual Convention of the Hawaii Association for Family and Community Education, Carolyn and her fellow club members presented a unique 
unique fashion show called Hawaiian Style from Yesterday and Today at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel using FCE members as models. She enjoyed attending annual FCE conventions and she gathered gently used jewelry from other FCE members to sell at the convention to benefit the Trimble Foundation. She enjoyed making and selling crafts with her club at annual FCE fairs. She also enjoyed helping at the annual FCE rummage sales. She was a Hanalike Kako club president for many years. Carolyn received the Book of Golden Deeds Award in 2017 for her over 20, 35 years of commitment to the National Alliance on Mental Health, educating and supporting families dealing with mental illness. She was also actively involved and held leadership roles in Pui Okinawa, whose goal was to perpetuate and promote Okinawan culture. Carolyn passed away on October 14th at the Hilo Medical Center at age 76. With 42 years as an FCE member, she leaves a legacy of caring and compassion. She taught us all the value of being of service to others, and she truly made a difference in the lives of so many. She will be remembered for her loving kindness and generous spirit that will live on in the hearts of everyone who had the privilege of knowing her. And next, Michi Sarah. Michi passed away peacefully at home with her family at her side in Waikapu on July 2nd, 2020 at the age of 96. She was a member of the Pukalani FCE Club. Michi was born July 7, 1923 on Maui and graduated from Maui High School. After graduation, she moved to Oahu and later married her high school sweetheart, Bob. She held various jobs until working for the State of Hawaii, Department of Health, Public Health Nursing at Kapukulu Health Center and Diamond Head Health Center for a combined 34 years as clerk typist. She loved cooking for her family and friends, especially for the New Year celebration. Mitchie enjoyed gardening and sewing, but will be most remembered for her old-fashioned clothespin Christmas ornament dolls that were made with much love and intricate detail. In 2009, she and her husband moved to Maui to live with Eric and their daughter, Stephanie, where they resided until their passing. She will truly be missed by all who knew her, especially Dixie Cup, her dog and special companion. Next, Orlean Wingate. Orlean was a founding member of Poaloha FCE Club in January 1977 and had been a member for 43 years until her passing. Big Island advisor Betty Jo Thompson encouraged and guided her to form a then called UE Club with a group of members who met every Tuesday at Wailoa Park learning Hawaiian quilting. The majority of the women were not Hiloans, but were transplanted from neighbor islands and women from Europe and Japan whose husbands were working for telescope companies. They had no families here, so they looked forward to their meetings to share recipes and learned about each other's lives and cultures and just to be together. Orlean was Ho'olo'a's perpetual president until she went on to bigger challenges with FCE, becoming FCL trainer, HAFCE president, NAFCE president, and a mentor for all who wanted to follow in her footsteps. She was awarded the HAFCE and the NAFCE Spirit of FCL Award in 2009. FCE is Orlean's legacy. Orlean was such a giving and generous person with an infectious smile who always gave of her time and herself. She will long be remembered for the warm and loving person she was and for all she has done for FCE. We will surely miss her. Okay. 
next. Okay, these are the members who passed away this year. Next. Edno Baldado. It is with great sadness that we share with you the passing of Edna Noilani Baldado, past HAFC president, president and 35-year member of the Hilo FCE Council. Auntie Edna and her husband Sam helped to form the new Oli FCE Club. They were both members and were constant attendees of club, council, and state events. They rarely missed a state convention and were regular attendees of the NAFCE conferences. Edna and Sam were also instrumental in the establishment of the Berlin Bible Church of Hilo and were members there for 44 years. Edna was a registered nurse and worked at the Hilo Medical Center. After retiring in 1993, she went to work at Hui Malama Olana Oivi, the Hawaiian Health Hawaiian Health System for the Big Island as case manager. She was also active in Hui Palo Moku Okeyabe, a nonprofit organization that existed backyard farmers and families to plant, grow, harvest, and market taro. She served on the board of directors of the Hilo Bay Clinic and the Diabetes Education and Counseling Center. Edna served as Hilo FCE Vice President, President, and then in 20, um, 2001 to 2002, she served as HAFCE President. She was chosen as the 2002 HAFCE Spirit of FCL recipient and captured the national title the same year. Since her FCL training in 1991, Edna contributed to dramatic changes in the quality of the life of the East Hawaii community with her focus on the care and education of diabetes for 28 years. She was preceded in death by her beloved Sam in 2020. She passed away on June 2nd, 2021 at the age of 84. Next. Laverne Leilani Lei Chow. Lei was a member of Hui Omakani for over 19 years. She passed away at the age of 90 on August 1st, 2021. Lei was born on July 31st, 1931 in Oregon. She could have been seen wearing her mu'umu'u and her lei po'o on her head. We would see her and her husband Al sitting in McDonald's enjoying their coffee. Lei was the sweetest person and never had a negative word to say about anyone. She always looked for the best in people and tried to find something positive to say about everyone. Al and Lei were the most loving and devoted couple, always thinking of each other. Lei served as HAFCE State Secretary and was always ready to volunteer. Although she had serious health problems that never, that never stopped her positive spirit, she would tell funny stories. She talked about how her biological father tried to get her to join the Communist Party. She also told a funny story about how people always thought Al was a Kama Aina and that she was the mainland Howley. We will all miss Lei. Next, Emily D.I. We are sad to report that Emily D.I. passed away on December 26, 2020, several days after her 88th birthday on December 21st. Emily had been, had been a member of the Windward Oahu FCE Club and Hui Omakani for over 55 years. During this time, she took leadership roles at club, council, and state level. She was convention, council, and state treasurer, and club president and secretary. She actively volunteered and helped organize projects such as the 600 Tutu Dolls for the NAFCE conference in Kona. 
Yo-yo bag decorations for an HAFCE convention. Council flags that were used in the conventional processional. Bib and blankets and laundry for a care home. She made hakuleis for HAFC officers and volunteered with projects at Foster Gardens and the Boys and Girls Club. She was the go-to person for not only club procedures and history, but as a supportive, hardworking, and well-liked friend. Emily loved all crafts, including quilting, clay pottery, sewing, crocheting, as well as hakule making and feather band work. Her garden was filled with thriving and interesting plants that she used for hakuleis. She loved traveling and going on cruises with her husband. Emily worked for Hawaiian Tel when it was Mutual Telephone Company and, the, and in the office of dentist Ken Moraoka and for florist Ali'i Flores and Picket Fence. Dyn dynamite comes in small packages like M Emily. We were lucky to have Emily as an FCE member. Next. Mitch Uihana. Mitch passed away on August 2nd, 2021. He was Kathy Uihana's husband and a family member with the Happy Hands South Oahu Council. Mitch was a very quiet person who always pitched in to help whenever we met at the Urban Garden Center. He would come and help at the end of the day with the cleanup. This is a picture of Mitch taken in Kohala with his $8 pineapple. Next, Carol Yurth was a longtime member with the Hamakua Council. He was an administrative service assistant for the Honuka'a Complex at the high school and intermediate school. She retired in July 2021 and was very active in the community. She was the incubator project coordinator of the Honuka'a Ohana Kitchen for the Hawaii County Economic Opportunity Council. I think Carol was one of those from Hamakua who taught us the chicken dance at one of our conventions. She passed away at the end of August, 2021. Okay, next. Okay, I'm going to read this and uh, think about the words. You can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that she has left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind and be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she would want, smile, open your eyes, love, and go on. I want you to join me for a moment of silence. I want you to cherish the memories of these wonderful FCE members that have left us and remember to smile. Can you please close your eyes and let's pray to ourselves and for these loved ones. Thank you. That ends our memorial service.